Hey everybody, and welcome back to your Google Classroom tutorials. In this particular lesson, I'm going to talk to you about how in the new version of Google Classroom, topics have become really important. It really allows us to take the classwork stream and have it be very organized. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what will happen if you don't have topics, and I'll show you what can happen if we do have topics. Now you can create topics ahead of time just to kind of give you like some buckets or containers to be able to put things in, which is really nice if you are teaching a particular classroom where you are building um, a certain sequence of lessons or modules and you sort of want to have that progression built in. Um, or you can put the topics and create the topics as you're making the assignments. Those are going to be two different ways. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the topics ahead of time. But then when we get to the next lesson, where we're actually creating assignments. I'll show you how we can also create a topic right from there. So let's get started by going to classroom.google.com. So once you're here in the new Google Classroom, what's really great, again, we know that we have a stream, classwork and people. So we're going to cover classwork. And this is just an example of my new Google Classroom. And we can see what it looks like when there's a topic. I have one called Class Materials, Topic A, Extra Practice, Read and Write. You can see this one that's loose at the top that happens to be a draft. It wasn't put in with a topic, which means you would just have a list of assignments with no real categorization as part of it. So let's take a look at a brand new Google Classroom that has no topics created. This is what it'll see like the first time you're in a new Google Classroom. I can go ahead and I can say create. And one of the ones down here says topic. Now one of the topics we very much recommend creating is called classroom materials because this is where you can put things like your textbooks, your website, your syllabus. I can add it. And essentially what it does is it creates that container I can make another one. Now, some of the things that we really like about Google Classroom is we can now make the classroom seem more searchable simply because when I create the topics, they stay put and I can add the assignments to them. So again, I can create a topic. Um, perhaps this time I'm gonna call this topic Sky Science. And also know that when you reuse an assignment from another classroom, an old Google Classroom, it will pull the topics over with it, which is something that you're going to see when we look at reuse posts. So all of this is interconnected. We're just breaking down these lessons for you. You can see how easy it is, but that's how simple it is to create a topic. Nice, easy containers to be able to put things in. You'll see in the next lessons that when we create those assignments, we can also create the topics. Uh, so give it a try. See if you can create those topics that make sense in your class page and know that if you need to change where the topics go, like I want actually this to be first, you can move topics up and down. Let me show you. So in here, as soon as I click the three dots beside my topic, it'll let me move it up. And now I can put that up here. Or maybe I want class materials always at the top. Again, I can move it up. You'll also note that when you have your three dots, um, you can copy the link, which is great for sending directly to students to find something specific that you want them to see. You can also rename and delete the topic. So it's really handy organization in your Google Classroom, much better than when our assignments were lost in the stream. So give it a try, and I look forward to helping you in the next lessons where we're going to be creating some questions and creating some assignments.